Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing something that I have waited over six years to do. We're finally painting our oak kitchen cabinets white. When we first bought this house, I loved the size of the kitchen, but I never liked the oak cabinets. But I was always really nervous to paint them just because they weren't terrible, even though they weren't my particular taste but I didn't want to paint them and ruin them. So we're finally doing that. The first thing I did was I took some cups and I numbered them. That way I could put all of the hinges in those cups and then I'm also going to number the doors as well. Now that I got the hinges off of the door, I'm going to wash the door with some Dawn dish soap. That way I can get off all of the grease and grime and get this really clean. Here I'm filling up my sink with some hot soapy water again using Dawn dish soap and I'm going to soak the hinges for a couple of minutes before scrubbing them with a sponge. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be spray painting these matte black and I want to make sure that everything is off of them before I do that. Okay, so I took all the top cabinet doors off and I washed them. I used Dawn dish soap and a sponge. I washed all those, I washed all the hinges. And so I am going to use, I got some drop cloth. I'm gonna put these on the floor because I'm going to try doing it in the dining room. I got some paper towels. This is just to open. <laughs> Uh, the, the paint, 
I got some tape that I can tape everything up when the time comes. And then I have all the stuff that came in this kit. So the first thing I'm going to use is going to be this deglosser. So I'm going to read and make sure, you know, how to do this. I'm pretty sure I need to use some gloves. I already have some of those anyway, and then these. So I'm going to use a plastic table. I moved our table, and you can see all this space in our dining room. So I am going to kind of do all of my work in here and try to get everything done as fast as I can, but also not, you know, sloppy because I hate sloppy work. So we're gonna try to get this as professional looking as possible. I will show you, this is what it looks like. All the stuff. I'm getting ready to make myself an iced coffee. And then here's all of the hinges numbered with the doors and I also numbered the cabinets that way nothing can get mixed up. So let's get into this. This drop cloth ended up being way bigger than I was expecting which was a good thing that way I didn't have to use more than one at a time and I ended up using two of them. One for all of the top cabinet doors and the second one for the bottom half. Here I set up the table and this is what I'm going to be using for my workspace as I degloss all of the doors. I didn't want to do it on the floor just because I wanted to keep the drop cloth as clean as possible. I definitely recommend buying this kit if you plan to paint your cabinets. Everything was super helpful and I ended up buying two of the kits and I needed both but I still have a half a can of paint left. Now when you're deglossing, make sure that you're pressing down hard enough to try to get all that gloss off. Not too hard but just enough and if you do end up getting the kit I would recommend getting just a few more sponges because um, I did feel like I needed another one or two just because it ended up not being very rough anymore and I feel like you need that roughness to get a lot of the gloss off. After you degloss everything, you want to take a wet towel, not too wet, and just wipe off all of that deglosser. Now that the doors are ready to paint, I'm propping them up on these cups and this worked really well to keep them off of the floor and helped me to be able to paint the sides. Okay, so I got the first coat on one side of all of the cabinets. 
And it took me about two and a half hours to get this done. I'm hoping that the rest of the coats get a little bit faster um, and all that. Here's what it looks like. The first coat does not need to look good. It's just basically getting it, you know, covered. So I tried putting it on pretty thin. I didn't want to do it too thick. I wanted it to dry really well. So since it was two and a half hours since I first did this one, I'm going to do the second coat and just try to get everything done as fast as I can, yet efficiently and just like, you know, not rush, but I definitely found like a good rhythm to do. It's getting a little bit easier. You know, I'm figuring out, oh, okay, it's a little bit easier to put a little bit more paint on, but not too much. So I'm happy with how it's looking so far. I mean, there's no going back now. This is it. Here, Erin is fixing the part of the area where we have our bar stools. Honestly, this area has been falling apart and just looking terrible. We wanted to fix it for a long time, but what we wanted to do just wasn't possible unless we were willing to paint the cabinets right away because it just would not have matched. Here you can see what it looks like. They're painting it and getting it all finished. It's kind of like a shiplap look and I love it. It looks so much better and more custom. It's really, it adds a lot to the kitchen. And here Aaron is adding hardware. He needs to pre-drill. We never had any handles on our cabinets because they were the type that don't need them but we really wanted some handles because we thought it would make the kitchen look a lot nicer and it definitely did help we got the hardware off of amazon and it was such a good price i'll be sure to link everything that we used in the description box below Here, I'm putting the protective coating on all of the upper cabinets. This was definitely a good feeling. It was so nice to have that section done. And once you get this part on, it's kind of a sigh of relief because if anything gets dirty, it'll wipe right off versus touching the paint and having to repaint over it. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this process of how we transformed our kitchen cabinets and hopefully it will give you some encouragement to try this project yourself. It really wasn't that hard. I ended up using about five coats on each thing. That way it would minimize the brush strokes and honestly you cannot see any. It is very well um, covered and I love that look. Before I show you the finished product, I wanted to mention that we did order a new faucet. It just did not come in time for me to show it on this video as well as a rug. And we also plan to paint the backsplash, but that will be a separate video. 
The last thing that had to get done was getting these doors put back on and the kitchen is finished. I am so excited. I'm going to show you guys some before pictures before showing you the big reveal. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.